Alright lads, I get it, you want to see pinnacle weapons, so I thought I'm probably better off doing one video where I cover all of them, and I know a lot of you do prefer the long form content. So here, I'm going to attempt to cover every single pinnacle weapon from Destiny 2. The first pinnacle weapon we ever got was Redrick's Claymore. This weapon was actually really difficult to earn, as you had to get the fabled rank in competitive Crucible. At the time, this was actually extremely difficult due to Lost Streaks being so punishing. The pinnacle perk on this weapon was called Desperado, reloading while Outlaw is active increases your rate of fire. Moving on, in Forsaken, Bungie added a more accessible version of Redrick's Claymore in the form of Redrick's Broadsword. To obtain the Broadsword, you would simply just need to complete a very, very long Crucible quest. I'll never forget the final step of this quest was to reset your Valor five times. Again, this weapon had Desperado and Outlaw, but what was pretty cool is you could actually randomly roll the barrel and magazine perks. Overall, these pulse rifles were really fun in PvP and PvE. Desperado was just such a great perk. It is worth mentioning, Bungie have actually brought a couple of these perks back. Next up, we have a very fun hand cannon, Luna's Howl. The pinnacle perk on this weapon was called Magnificent Howl. This perk states, rapidly landing two precision shots increases the next shot's damage and range. As this was a crucible weapon, you would need to complete a pretty long quest, and at the end, you would have to reach rank fabled. Now, I can't stress how good this thing was in crucible, the only problem was it wasn't very accessible. Which leads us on to our next weapon, the Not Forgotten. Essentially, this was a very of the Lunar's Howl you could obtain by reaching rank legend in the glory playlist. Again, this weapon would have magnificent howl and zen moment, but what was different about it is you actually got extended barrel and also accurized rounds. Again, these two hand cannons were phenomenal in Crucible. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any gameplay of the Not Forgotten as I actually never managed to get it. Moving on, we have the Loaded Question. Now, this was a vanguard pinnacle weapon which actually had the unique perk Reservoir Burst. When your magazine was full, your next burst would deal additional damage and also cause enemies to explode. Then we have Breakneck, which was a top tier auto rifle which was unlocked via a Gambit Pursuit. This weapon was so good for ad clearing, mainly because of its unique pinnacle perk. Onslaught simply states, rate of fire increases for each stack of Rampage. As you can see from the gameplay, as I stack Rampage, my rate of fire gets so much faster and this thing was just so, so good in PvE. The Oxygen SR3 was a Vanguard Solar Scout Rifle. The pinnacle perk on this weapon allowed Dragonfly to deal more damage based on the number of precision hits dealt beforehand. I haven't really got much to say about this scout rifle, as you can see the dragonfly perk is pretty fun in PvE, but I didn't really use it all too much. 21% delirium was a pinnacle gambit machine gun. This machine gun had such a cool perk called killing tally. This perk would simply increase your damage when you got kills until the weapon was stowed or reloaded. This was just such a great perk as it literally just gave you a flat damage increase. As you can see from the gameplay again, this weapon is just so good in PvE. Moving on, we have my favourite SMG ever. I think this is my favourite SMG in the whole of Destiny. Here we have the Recluse. To obtain this weapon, you would need to reach rank Fabled in the Glory playlist. This weapon dealt void damage, had a magazine of 36, fired at 900 rounds per minute, and was also a lightweight frame. But what made this weapon so good was its unique pinnacle perk, Master of Arms. This perk states kills with any weapon improve this weapon's damage for a short time. This is the reason I liked the weapon so much. Essentially, you could get a kill with your primary or even heavy and then you can swap to the recluse and you've got an instant damage buff. It's also worth noting that kills with the recluse itself would actually proc the master of arms perk. Overall this was a phenomenal SMG, I still use this weapon to this day and it's just so much fun to use in both PvP and PvE. Then we have a vanguard pinnacle heavy grenade launcher called the Wendigo GL3. This weapon had the unique perk explosive light, picking up an orb of power increases the next grenade's blast radius and damage. Honestly this doesn't sound very good but it was actually very good in PvE. Essentially, as you're passively picking up orbs, you're gaining a damage bonus to your heavy weapon. So you could be picking up orbs or strike, and then you come to the boss fight and you can unload all of that extra damage. Moving on, we have a pinnacle gambit bow called Hush. Honestly, lads, this is a pretty underrated weapon. I was having a lot of fun using this a minute ago. The pinnacle perk states, hip fire precision hits grant a massive draw speed bonus for a short duration. And as you can see, this is actually a massive bonus. You can see I'm firing so much faster using this perk. The Revoker is a pinnacle crucible sniper. This sniper was absolutely fantastic in PvP and the pinnacle perk just made it better. Reversal of Fortune states, missing a shot returns the bullet to the magazine after a short duration. Now, I'm not going to turn this into a history lesson, but anyone that's been playing Destiny for a long time knows that anything that messes with the ammo economy breaks the game. Although, the Revoker was a very, very fun weapon to use. Right, so I think that's all the pinnacle weapons covered. Let's just double check. That's all the Vanguard ones, all the Gambit ones. Yeah, I think we've just about done it.
In preparation for this video, I did actually use every single pinnacle weapon, bar the Not Forgotten and also the Redrix Claymore. And I just wanted to talk about which are the best. Obviously, the Recluse is a classic pick, a fantastic SMG, amazing for both PvP and PvE. Master of Arms is just perfect. But I think it's also worth giving a couple of the Gambit weapons a little shout out because I think Breakneck and 21% Delirium are amazing PvE ad clearing weapons. Obviously, the PvP pinnacle weapons are just amazing. Pick any of them, you know, they're typically the best in class. As for the Vanguard weapons, they're just not as good lads. I mean, they're still pinnacle weapons, they still have great unique perks, but I just feel like the other two categories are just so much better. Actually, I will actually give the Wendigo quite a bit of credit because the explosive light perk was really, really good for solo players. Essentially, when you came to the end of a piece of content and you had a boss or something, you could use a masterworked weapon to generate orbs, I and mean, you could fully max out that Wendigo explosive light perk and literally just unload the whole magazine on the boss, and more often than not, that would be enough to kill them. Right, at the end here, I just wanted to talk about pinnacle perks coming back, and by extension pinnacle weapons coming back. So over the last couple of seasons you probably noticed that some of the pinnacle perks have returned to weapons. For example, I believe it's the messenger, someone correct me if I'm wrong, but in Trials of Osiris if you manage to get the messenger there is a chance you can get Desperado on it, which is actually a perk from the Redrix Claymore and Redrix Broadsword. So if they're going to bring that back, are they going to bring, and oh I think we also got Reservoir Burst. So that's from the loaded question and I believe that's on the null composure, but where I stand on pinnacle weapons is they're some of my favourite weapons ever added to Destiny, like I think the Recluse is really up there. But the only problem is sometimes these weapons can be too powerful and without sunsetting, you know, we kind of get this like power creep and then the next pinnacle weapon has to be better and better and better. And it gets to a point where why would you use something else over the recluse? So it kind of had to be sunset. Maybe they could bring that perk back but I just feel like Master of Arms is um, slightly too strong. I don't know if, I, I'll try and get some gameplay, but as you can see, it's basically Rampage on steroids whenever you get a kill. I think a great alternative would be Pursuit Exotics, as you could still have that unique perk, but it wouldn't be too strong because it's taking up your exotic slot. The only problem with this solution is I believe exotics take quite a bit of production time, and for Bungie, it might be a bit of a pain to every season make an extra exotic just for Pursuits. And I do think Pinnacle Weapons did fit that middle ground quite perfectly, but the only problem was you could literally have an exotic perk on a legendary which kind of broke the game. Anyway guys let me know what you think to pinnacle perks, whether or not they should come back, what you thought of them, but anyway thank you so much for watching. I am going to plug a little bit at the end here, we've got a discord, we've got a tiktok and that's all going to be in the description. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe and goodbye.